Hello, what's up? Ako nga pala si BT at nandito ngayon tayo sa channel ng Tunay na Kritiko. Siyempre, ito yung BT Reaction. Sabay-sabay nating panoorin ang great speech ni President-elect Ferdinand Bongbong Marcos Jr. Ayan. Tingnan nyo naman, makikita nyo sa monitor, no? Parang si Apo Lakay lang. O, oh, diba? Palakpakan muna natin si BBM sa pagkapanalo niya uli. Ayan, at ating pakinggan at panoorin ang kanyang speech dahil ito napakagaling daw ng speech niyang ito no speech to na nakalagay June 10 2022 yan nakita natin na halungkat ko lang siya sa baol <laughs> ayan at wag na nating pagtagalin at atin ang pakinggan at panoorin ang ating presidenteng si BBM ayon BBM pasok <laughs> All of the, all of those of you who have worked hard in the association of the Philippine, uh, Chinese Philippine uh, un, uh, understanding uh, that is that we have first tried to work on since the diplomatic ties were normalized in 1975. I have been uh, uh, have been lucky enough to have been able to attend many all the commemorations of uh, uh, the Chinese Philippine Day uh, as, we are, as we are doing now. And it is because, well, certainly because, uh, in fact, it is, uh, in my view, a very important relationship that we must continue to evolve as the years go by and as the changes that we have seen around the world are affecting our uh, own status within the region and with that cooperation and with that communication i think that we have been able to find a way to grow and to make stronger the relationships between our two countries the people's republic of china and the republic of the philippines uh, in many ways the the signing of diplomatic agreement of the diplomatic agreement between the people's republic and the republic of the philippines in 1975 was just a formalization or normalization of an informal relationship that has been shown to go back at least to the tang dynasty and uh, that is how long uh, the uh, relationship between uh, the philippines and china has been going on and we, this, this is at, at, at very many levels and with the addition now of the we had the decision in 1975 of the signing and normalization of diplomatic relations between our two country our two countries we formalized that informal relationship and added another facet to our uh, to our dealings in that we added government to government and that has been something that I believe has been very advantageous to both our countries. And so how do, how do I see the future between China and the Philippines? I see the future of China and the Philippines developing in many ways that maybe we do not see now. I will encourage our, our relationship to not only be in the very strict and formal senses of business or government to government or public and private uh, partnerships all of those we will encourage but i learned a term uh, and one of the conferences i was invited to in uh, in china and it is a good term because it is i believe presents for us another opportunity to grow closer and that term that i learned from the chinese is people to people and I think that it is another place, another area, another direction that we can explore to strengthen our foundations, to strengthen the foundation of our partnership, our friendship, and uh, so, as we, so that we move forward together into the future. The difficulties, the differences we may have will be helped in every way as long as we continue trying and continue to communicate and continue to be forthright in the interest of, our, of each of our countries. 
I, have, I am of the firm belief that as uh, we try to make our way in the post-pandemic world, then that we, our, we, each country, uh, will not be able to thrive, to survive and to thrive by itself. We have developed such a close global community in both in politics, both in, both in diplomacy, also in business, and so that it is not possible any longer for a single country to make its own way and say that they will succeed. I truly believe that it is the partnerships and alliances that we as a country will make with our friends and allies and partners around the world that will keep the stability of our economic uh, recovery. And I think that, uh, again, the synergy that will come from that cooperation is what I believe will bring us forward to a bright future. And to think, come, to the, come to the time in the day, come to the day when we can say we have come, we have, we are beyond the pandemic crisis. We are beyond the economic crisis brought on by the pandemic. We can only do it, certainly in the Philippines, we can only do it with our partners. And our strongest partner has always been, in that regard, our close neighbor and our good friend, the People's Republic of China. So I congratulate all of us. Uh, we in the Philippines are celebrating our 124th Independence Day. And together with that, we celebrate the 47th commemoration of the signing of diplomatic relations between the People's Republic of China. And it was both a form of independence, both our independence and both our signing. Uh, with, uh, with the People's Republic of China. It was our independence as well. Uh, from, uh, perhaps, we will continue what uh, President Duterte has started, what has been described as an independent foreign policy. And this is what we feel is best in the national interest. And I think it is to be advantageous not only to our friends in China, but to all our friends around the world. So with that in mind, I encourage you all to continue to work to, these, uh, to, to strengthen these relationships. I add my congratulations to the awardees. I thank you all for uh, uh, putting in the Hall of Fame my mother. And I think uh, I may be biased. I think it is just right because China did not, cannot find a greater champion than my mother in the Philippines. Madam Imelda Marcos, also known as the Iron Butterfly, is the wife of the late Philippines President Ferdinand Marcos. Far from being a traditional first lady, Madam Imelda was a force in her own right. She was considered as among the few who were openly and attentively received by renowned leaders like China's Prime Minister Zhu Enlai and leader Mao Zedong, to name a few. Her passion for culture, beauty and the arts were said to be one that greatly inspired China's Prime Minister. Minister Zhu Enlai and leader Mao Zedong securing the Philippines' favor and support in negotiating not only for an important oil deal, but sealed the establishment of the official diplomatic ties between China and the Philippines on the 9th of June, 1975. From the time of her being the first lady of the country until today, Madame Imelda remains an epitome of power and beauty not only for her family, but also her constituents who have always looked up to her and her family. She continues to be a pillar of strength to her children and grandchildren and an inspiration to every Filipino who holds the belief that true beauty is God's love made real. Our former First Lady, Imelda Romualdez Marcos. So thank you very much and uh, we look forward to continuing fostering this relationship, making it stronger, making it deeper and uh, to the advantage of our two great countries. Thank you very much and good evening.
Bangui Philippine President elect Ferdinand Romualdez Marcos Jr. Ayon at ating natong haya ng great speech ni President elect Ferdinand Bongbong Marcos Jr. Talagang ang galing niya, ang galing, ang galing niya sa pagsasalita, talagang magaling, no? Talagang akala mo ang nagsasalita ay mismo si Apo Lakay, di ba? Oh, uh, tingnan niyo. Uh, comment niyo, di ba? Parang si late President Ferdinand Marcos yung nagsasalita din, eh, no? Parehas na pareha sila at siyempre gusto pag-igtingin ng ating presidente ang relasyon natin sa China. Ayun, uh, para maging maayos sa relasyon. Kasi hindi na yung para maglaban pa, di ba? Yung magigira pa ang Pilipinas at China, mag-aaway pa. Ayan ko, hanggat maaari, ang gusto ng ating presidente ay lahat. Kung baga makayunite natin yung mga bansa. Di ba? Ayun yung magandang hangarin. Isa sa magandang hangarin ng ating presidente. Kaya nga, unitin. Di ba? Ayaw niya ng mga gulo. Ayaw niya ng mga gulo. Ang gusto niya, ay mapaunlad ang bansang Pilipinas at may angat uli tayo sa pagkakalugmok natin sa putik. Ginagawa lahat ng ating presidente ang kanyang makakaya, di ba? At sana po sa lahat naman ng mga kumokontra kay PBBM, sana naman ay eh, magising naman po kayo at pagbigyan niyo naman po siya na gumawa. Di ba po? Panoorin muna natin at ramdamin muna natin lahat ng mga gagawin niya. Dahil hindi niya magagampanan ng maayos sa mga gagawin niya kung kayo po ang patuloy na bumabati ko saan niya. Manong suportahan na lang po natin siya dahil ang gusto niya ay iangat ang Pilipinas, hindi palubugin. Di ba po? Kaya sana po, sumuporta na lang po tayo sa kanya. Hindi na po yung kalabanin, batikusin o anuman. Hanggat maganda ang hangarin niya sa Pilipinas, dapat patuloy natin siyang sinusuportahan. Lalong-lalo na sa mga senador sa mga nasa Senado, di ba? So once again, I'm BT and I'm out. Peace.